What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Now, today we're going to be talking about all the banners that are incoming. Now, if you guys didn't know, this banner is actually, or these two banners technically, are going away tomorrow night. Now, these banners have some great, great, great units on them. Artie, fantastic. Astraea, absolutely wonderful. Finn is 100% mandatory. You have to have that assist Finn. If you do not have him, make sure you have that unit before he's gone. I stress that because he's really just that necessary for every team. Uh, in fact, that entire banner is really worthwhile. Um, the only unit on this banner that's not worthwhile, honestly, is Gareth. I never use him. Um, he has some uses, but frankly, there are other units you can get in the game that do roughly the same stuff. Um, so, in my opinion, he's the only one on that banner not to worry about. But these banners are all going away. So if you weren't here for 30th anniversary, probably a good idea to acquire these units, okay? That's my first kind of suggestion to you. Now, do bear in mind that if you don't max these units now, that's fine. You can collect gnome tickets, and as you're collecting those gnome tickets, then you can go buy star bonds from the, uh, the star bond shop, and their gnome ticket shop, and you can actually upgrade them there too. Because starting tomorrow, we have these banners incoming. And these units are really good too. <laughs> I hate to say it. These units are really, really, really good. Uh, that Allen assist I use quite a lot. Otaro is fantastic for single target, especially Earth, uh, which needed a big buff at the time and now is really fantastic. Um, every single one of these units, I would say maybe with the exception of Freya. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm going to be honest. I don't offhand remember what that Freya does, but we're going to look it up here real quick. Uh, let's see. She do, 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 do wish wherever she at. There she is. So that's the last fray we got in the game, and fully max them a broken. She does counter rate twenty percent, foes critical penetration guard rate minus ten percent. So not really the greatest. I mean, good, yes, but if you were gonna wail for her, you pretty much already knew that. So if you're looking to like, who am I gonna get with my free to play Iris? Once again, I'd say, I'd even say like Magic Elise is really good. But very specific. So even then, I might say like magically, she could probably could do without. Um, Finn is really good. I use him a lot. Uh, but really, that first banner, I would say, almost ekes it out just because that Allen assist is so absolutely necessary. Okay. Now, I know we're talking about a limited amount of virus that you're gonna have to throw at these because every, uh, yeah. Every uh, uh, every pull is going to be expensive, and only the first pull is discounted, unlike the Winter Reverie reruns. Now, the other thing to be aware of is that this banner will be incoming here in just a few days. We have like a week left, and then we'll be getting this. When we get that, this one is mandatory. You have to hit this banner. It is so good. Zard is really good. Althea is Wonderful, has so many amazing uses, and if you're going to get either one of these two units, you have to have Erebus. You just 100% have to have these units um, in your arsenal. They're just so good. They're so very good. Now, that's my opinion on this. So, make sure you have, if nothing else, make sure you have Finn before they go away. But if you can, that whole banner is really, really worthwhile. Artie is a great unit if you just have one or two of her. She's awesome, and she can be used as a sack unit. Though I will say Astraea, if you're going to go ham on a banner, Astraea is a very good unit too. But once again, Artie can be used as a sack. Astraea, we have other units to do the same things. So not the end of the world, but that first banner with Finn, you've got to have Finn. You 100% must have Finn. Okay? These banners incoming tomorrow. I, I, I really don't want to sit here and say you've got to have... Uh, Alan, because Alan's very good. All that first banner is wonderful, and you'll find uses for them all over the place. I really like this Finn, but I'm going to say if you have to pick and choose, maybe take it easy on these two banners. You know what I mean? Like, once again, you can upgrade them all later. They're all really good units. That's what really sucks about this, because if you don't have these units maxed, if you weren't here for the third anniversary, you've got a very small window. And I would say more than this banner, 
more than those two banners, this banner is better. This banner is incoming in about a week, so you've got some time to save for that. Now, what about the banners incoming tonight? Well, the uh, current Winter Reverie is actually gone tonight, and those units got a pretty respectable rebalance. Um, but I'm going to be honest, I, I think even I, I just didn't do many summons on it. As much as I want to max my Winter Haruhime, I might do a couple summons tonight, but I really feel like that's it. Um, I really honestly feel like these banners, the two banners we're going to get tonight, this banner and this banner are slightly better. And even then, I would say this is the banner 100% to pay attention to. But first things first, let's talk about these two, all right? So the uh, uh, first of all, we'll talk about Bell. Bell is a really, really good unit. Um, so skill one, let me go ahead and pull up his skill one here. Uh, because I actually don't recollect it off the top of my head, but skill one for Bell. Ba -ba 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 -ba, here he is. Bam. Okay. Skill one is a fast, low water physical attack with ultra and counter rate, strength, magic, and agility minus 30%. That strength, magic, and agility minus 30% is going to be a great debuff, especially for Wargame because it is an AoE attack. Now, in this rebalance, he goes from a low to a mid on that attack. So do, you know, do whatever you feel like doing with that. But he will go from a low to a mid on that uh, skill. Okay. Now skill two for him is a foes plural super water physical attack with temporary strength boost, ultra unguard rate, and remove strength and magic buffs. That's really good. He's removed strength and magic buffs. He, that is a really, really, really good skill for him to have. For a long time he was used in, in war game. And I see, still see him crop up from time to time, though not as much. Now skill three... Uh, is a foe singular high water physical attack with temporary strength boost and ultra penetration rate and allies ailment cure. That ailment cure is really awesome. And worth noting here, that one actually goes from a high to a super modifier after tonight's uh, upgrades. Now, he also gets a uh, critical and penetration rate plus 10% in the new uh, rebalances tonight. So he's still a very good unit. Not end of the world stuff, considering um, we looked at this last night on stream and his stats are all really good, but his health leaves a little bit to be desired at best. And when he's fully max limit broken, his stats are just about 35, 35, 35, 25. I'm sorry. So it's like his health is going to leave a little bit to be desired. This unit is going to squish a little faster than a more modern unit. So I would be cautious about that. That said, I adore, adore this Aisha unit. Not just for the arcs here. It's pretty amazing. But um, all that nonsense aside, this Aisha unit is still a great, great, great hitter. Let me pull up all of her stats here real quick. There we go. And funny enough, I think it's the most recent Aisha we've gotten in the game, hilariously. We haven't gotten an Aisha in like a year. Um, so, first of all, her HP is 3645. Just a little better than Bell's, but I think she hits better than Bell, in my opinion. Uh, physical attack is still uh, 1956, so just below t uh, 2k. Bell was right about that same level. Um, and her agility stat is below 1,000. But you're not going to really need her to be quick. She's more of a record buster unit, okay? Her first skill is Foe Singular. Slow Earth Physical Attack with High Unguard Rate. Self Strength and Earth Attack Damage plus 70% for two turns, okay? Now, in the rebalance, in the rebalance, she's actually going to get her... Uh, uh, oh, no, she doesn't actually get anything on, on her first skill. So our first skill and second skill stay the same. Second skill then becomes fast. Mid-Earth physical attack with high penetration rate removes strength buffs except assist skills. So that is worth noting. Skill 3, and this is where we start to get a little bit of a change. The old one was slow, super-Earth physical attack damage plus 80% for each self strength buff. Then strength buffs are removed afterwards with the exception of assist skills. It's basically the same as that Lena unit you know, we got, but for Earth instead of for, uh, what is Lena? I think Lena's for water. Is she water or she wind? I think she's wind. So, basically the same thing. You know, just strength instead of magic. She's absolutely beastly. And that goes from 80% up to 85. And that makes her pretty mandatory. Like, for an Earth Wrecker Buster, which she should be probably getting after all this is said and done, um, she's going to be really good. We haven't had an Earth update in a while, so I'm kind of expecting New Year's to be an Earth update. I'm guessing... 
maybe? We've had a lot of love for a lot of other things. So we might get like Earth and maybe, I don't know, what have we not had in a while? Not Dark. Dark will probably get shortly after that. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but I'm guessing we'll probably get an Earth because we haven't had an Earth update in a minute. Um, we just got Wind. We just got, I mean, Light doesn't need any help at the moment. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think it's going to be because I think Earth and Dark are about the only ones that are really kind of really need it at the moment but i i have a huff i mean i guess new year's dark it's i guess maybe it's dark out and they have you have uh uh fireworks i don't know why i couldn't think of the word fireworks but you it's dark out you have I, I don't know it's really stretching i just don't know what we're gonna get but i really feel like earth is gonna get a big buff here shortly and i feel like she's gonna be, go along with that very 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 well now she also upgrades her essay her essay is an ultra earth physical attack uh damage 80 percent per each self strength buff uh damage received attack single target plus 25 percent. so not only does it hit really crazy good it also debuffs your their single target defenses and that also goes up to 85 percent. so Everything that Lena is, she is, and that is awesome. So Earth, if you're running an Earth theme, if you're going to build an Earth theme, you need this unit, number one. I'll go over all the needs at the end of this video. 100% I'll go over all the needs at the end of this video. Now, that's this banner. The other banner, I'm not so sure about, to be completely honest here. Now, first things first. Uh, we'll talk about Ryu, because Ryu got a little bit of something some, but I've got to pull her stats up here in the game. Uh, yes, I'm pulling the game stats up here, because I cannot... We have too many units to remember just off the top of my head, so apologies. But, uh, as if that needed an apology. So, the Ryu unit that we get for, um, for this winter event, first of all, her HP is 3575, so once again... HP is a little on the low side. I know I, I gave Aisha a bit of a pass. I gave her a bit of a pass because of how hard she hits. But at this stage of the game, we're really looking for units that have, like, closer to 4K health. And, mind you, these were really, really substantial. Um, and they might get a little bit of an upgrade. I haven't seen the numbers upgrade. But they might get a little bit of an upgrade, but I don't see them getting much above 3,700. I really don't think they're going to get a 500 HP boost at full maximum of breaks. So that's why I'm kind of counting it like that. Now, she also has a magic stat of 1865, which is triple S. It's really good triple S stat and 910 on her agility. They might get boosted up to 1,000. They might get a 100 agility boost and then maybe a little bit of a magic and an HP boost, but I don't really see it being end of the world stuff. Now, as far as her skill goes, okay? So, skill 1 is a fast, slow, sorry, fast, slow resist, plus 100%, guard rate, physical resist, and magic resist, plus 25%. Now, this is very specific. She will, this is really predominantly, I mean, it is a defensive buff, but we have much better defensive buffs. In fact, Artie is a 35% defensive buff. Her defensive buff is way, way, way better. And the slow resist, I... Most people will just debuff agility these day and age. We've got so many agility debuffers, it's rare to see somebody running a slow ailment. And even then, you can just run anti-ailment and they'll be fine, usually. Um, I don't really put a lot of value behind that, to be completely honest. I really personally don't. Now, skill 2 is a fast, high earth physical attack. Uh, plus dex, magic resist, and earth resist all down 25%. That actually is pretty respectable. And it is getting an ultra and counter rate along with that when we get the rebalances tonight. Okay? Skill 3 is a foe singular high earth magic attack with damage plus 35% per each, tar uh, each target's magic resistance debuff. So she could hit pretty well there. But once again, I... I just really don't see it. And the worst part about this, and the thing that really damns this unit, in my opinion, is that she does get, she gives magic resistance and earth resistance down 35%, but to get the 35% debuff, she actually has to use her SA. And I feel like, I don't think we have an earth debuff 40%. Maybe, maybe, maybe that was Gareth's. I don't remember. If we don't have it in the game, we'll be getting it very soon. That is not SA worthy. That debuff really should be on a skill as of today now last year it was good not end of the world stuff but good today it's that should be a skill not an essay so once again i really feel like ryu just kind of falls apart now, i'm also told she gets damage prime critical plus 15 percent and magic agility dex plus 25 percent 
uh, goes up to 30%. I'm sorry. So she has 25%. Currently, she's going to go up to 30%. But I really don't think that saves this unit. I really feel like this unit is still a bit of a bomb. Now, the other unit here is Subaki. Um, and I don't remember Subaki at all. I don't even think I have her in the game. To be completely honest with you, I just don't remember what she does. Now, in fact, I think we looked for her last night and just determined that I just don't have her unit. Uh, here we are. Yeah, I do not have her. But, once again, fully maxed limit broken, fully ascended. Let's see, level 80. She has a 37-25 HP. So she's the only one that has, after getting rebalanced, might be close to mo uh, modern HP levels. Strength is 1961, which isn't bad. Isn't bad at all. Agility is 1079. So she's the one closest in stats to our current unit. So after rebalances, she actually could be respectable. Very respectable. Now... Skill 1 is a foes, plural, mid-water physical attack with ultra penetration rate. Physical resist and water resist down 30%. Now, that actually isn't getting buffed. If that was buffed up to 40%, that would immediately put her back in the realm of you are completely relevant all over again. You might use her as a sack unit, that's about it, but I really don't see that being... You're probably not going to use that for very long, honestly. Foes... Plural for skill two. Foes plural. Fast high water physical attack with ultra encounter rate. Allies 50% null magic attack times one. That was an awesome skill back in the day, but I really feel like it's kind of not so much anymore. Um, there was a point in time where that could have been game changing, but I really don't feel like it is at this point. Don't get me wrong. The ability to nullify a magic attack. And remember, all allies basically flip a coin. So heads they, heads they dodge, tails they just take the attack. So it is a good skill. But I don't think it makes up for what she's lacking in other places. Now, you might disagree with me, but I'm going to lay my cards on the table. This is, I do not feel like this is going to be really, really good. Now, then she, of course, gets the obligatory single target third skill. High water physical attack with damage plus 35% per each target. Physical resistance reduction skill and ultra guard rate. So that's actually going to go up to 40% instead of 35%. But... Once again, it's not, not not really enough to change her. Not enough to, to save her, in my opinion. She's not an attack unit. She is definitely a support unit. So bear that in mind, okay? And these units are all incoming tonight. So if you want my honest opinion, I think get Aisha. If you wind up with Belle, great. But Aisha's really the treat here. Don't worry about this banner. This banner is not worth your time, honestly. My personal opinion. Now... The other thing to consider here, the other thing to consider, we are going to most likely get a rerun of last year's New Year's units, and we have New Year's units incoming, which is why I was talking earlier about I really feel like Earth's going to get a buff. And when they get that buff, I feel like Aisha is still going to be relevant. I really feel like Aisha is a unit that's going to take a long time to be made irrelevant. So long as they're dropping units like Lena, and these units are very rare. Aisha was the only one we had like that. Now we have a second and we might even get a unit that does like earth attack damage 100 percent with her sa so that would be really awesome i feel like aisha is a unit that's going to stand the test of time the only exception is she's probably going to be a tiny bit on the squishy side unless they give her a really 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 extensive hp buff which i kind of personally hope they do but she doesn't have the new mechanic where she's got multiple attacks she doesn't have any of that so she's always going to lack in that department but i still feel like you're going to use her for Record Buster. I feel like when we get an Earth Record Buster, you're going to love her. And I'm definitely going to try to max limit break her. I think she's totally worthwhile. My personal opinion. That said, units on this banner that are 100% worthwhile. Riveria is worthwhile. Um, you know, I really, really hard went after this Daphne, and then I couldn't get her. And now that I've got her, she's kind of, eh, again. Um, but Anya at the top. Anya is so... So good. I blew Prism Bonds to get her maxed. You guys probably remember, some of you uh, remember last spring when I didn't get her uh, maxed out the way I wanted to, and I fought for so long to do it, and then I still, still use her in Record Buster. She's still one of the top hitting units on my teams. She is so, so good. So I really feel like you're going to want to save some for these banners as well. But we're not done because... Y'all know we still have this Bell unit around. We haven't really given Bell a good test. 
Um, the only thing that sucks is, once again, his HP leaves a little bit to be desired, but every other stat is right there. Um, I have not seen this spell used extensively yet. We would have to do some more testing with him. But every time I'm, I, I start to sneer a little bit at a bell, I'm shocked by how good he actually turns out to be. So I can't turn this dude away yet. Now, to be fair, he's not gone yet. We have him until the new year. Her, on the other hand, she will be gone on Friday. So, like, I've, this is actually from my page. If you have not pulled on this unit, you need to do it now. I will be doing some tonight. I actually need to max number breaker, so I'm going to be blowing uh, some of my free-to-play Irish to try to acquire her. I'll probably be uh, blowing a little bit more paid Irish to try to whale for her. I want to max this unit out. I really, really want to max this unit out, and I feel like you are going to want to as well. Now, the only thing I will say on Bell's behalf is that some of his skills take those really good things that I liked last week about the Winter Harahime, and they, he kind of absorbs them into himself. Now, not everything, but the one skill that I think is amazing. The only thing that, and somebody brought up a very valid point, Winter Harahime does still do passive healing, but I think that like, when we have Artie and Cassandra and a few other units, those units that do passive healing still, I feel like he still, I think, is going to be pretty good. I think people just haven't figured out how good he is yet. Uh, but you still have a week and a half uh, before he goes away. or uh, Yeah, about a week and a half before he goes away. So probably, if you want my honest opinion, <sighs> make sure you have Finn maxed. You have to have Finn maxed, 100%. He's necessary. Maybe get an Artie for a... Uh, yeah, get, get, get one of her for her uh, uh, sack skill. She's just very good, uh, even as a sack. You may not have her maximum broken. With no bonds, she's still fantastic. If that's all you do on these two banners, great. Fantastic. All right? Now, these banners. If you have to choose, I would say over these banners, maybe prefer these banners. But once again, these aren't coming in for a week. We can change. Um, so it says it's happening on 17 to 114. I think they actually changed that. I think that's actually coming in next Thursday. I think it's because this is two Thursdays from now. I think it's coming in next Thursday, if I recollect. I think the dates on this are wrong. Uh, but neither here nor there. Because see, this says it's actually coming in next week and it's coming in this week. So I think everything's like a week off on these uh, on these notes. But neither here nor there. Earth, Otarl. Now I did say Earth hasn't gotten a really good buff in a really long time. I think Otarl's actually the last Earth unit we got. I would not be surprised if the New Year's units were Earth type. I could see that. And I feel like if that's the case, you're probably going to want that Otarl. Alan's a fantastic unit. Uh, and Ryu is a really, really, really good unit. So if you have to pick one of these two banners to hit, hit that banner. But mark my words when I say you got to have Althea and you got to have Erebus. These two are mandatory. Uh, Zard is really good too. You're going to find so many uses for him. But to be honest, these two are so good together. If you're going to skip this banner, just skip it. But I'm telling you right now, if you want to build a light team, this is a great banner to, to hit. All right? So, Finn mandatory. I just get one of her just because of reasons. I like Otarl, I think. Here's my here's my decision maker, okay? If you're going to go after Aisha, and I recommend you do because she's really good, then also go after Otarl. But I would also recommend going after the... It's so hard, guys. We have a limited amount of Iris. Now, we've gotten a ton of Iris, but we have a very limited amount, and there's so many good units upcoming. It's really, really, really hard for me to narrow this down into just a few. It really is. Because this banner is so good, and yet, like, we have a, we're a week away from it. Um, that's so rough. But I do think you're going to want one of her. Skip this. Um, I hate to say it, but save a little bit. Save some. I mean, we're going to have some to farm up. They're probably going to give us some more freebies. I feel like the rerun's going to be good, and I feel like whatever we get for New Year's is going to be really good. And I feel like what they're trying to do right now is they're just trying to drain our iris. So that beginning of the year, they can drop these banners and charge us for more paid iris. I mean, it's uh, realistically, it's just the way it kind of tends to work. 
So, I'd say mandatory Finn before anybody else. You got to have that Finn maxed out. Do that tonight if you have not. I really want to say not her. I really want to say Aisha is mandatory. But if you're going to go for Aisha, I would also say go for Otaro. They're going to just work so well together. If you have any Iris left over, definitely hit this banner. But also save some for this and the new stuff. Man, it's so hard. It's such a tough decision, guys. But I'm going to tell you right now. I, I'll go back and say it. Finn, 100%. Before you do anything else, make sure he is maxed. He's going to make all the difference on your teams if you don't have him. And get one of her. Just one. You don't need any bounds. Just one. Okay? I'll just say it. Get Finn. Get Winnie. Get Aisha. The only the only interesting thing here is Bell and Aisha or Bell and Bell and Winnie are not time limited. They're actually in the general pool, so you could actually always pull them off a ticket. So maybe just get like one. I don't know. It's so hard to say because the tickets aren't going to pay out like they used to. The tickets have the the pool and tickets is so deep. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I I, I do want to say favor the time limiteds. But you gotta have Aisha for what's coming up. I get the, f I just have that feeling. And if you're gonna get her, you want Otaro. But once again, these units are. Uh, it's so hard, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'm torn. I'm thinking of you free to play Iris, and I just feel like there's nothing I can do right now to tell you what to do to respect your free to play Iris. Aside from tell you, if nothing else, get Finn tonight before he goes away, because he's going away tomorrow. And once he's gone, he's gonna be gone basically until summer. And I'm telling you, you're going to use them on every single solitary team. You will. But I also feel like you'd use her coming up soon. I don't know, guys. It's so it's so hard. Uh, these will be around for probably about a week because the other Winter Reverie were, were around, I believe, for right about a week. Um, these banners are going to be around for about a week. And then next week, these come in and we'll probably get the new... Uh, yeah, we'll probably get the new stuff. Uh, she's going away on Friday. They're going away tomorrow, and the current Winter Reverie is going away tonight. I'm not even including that, because I'm hoping you've done what you need to do with that by now. Because I don't want to throw any more at you. Um, and I really feel like if you're going to choose to summon on something, these are the ones to really pay attention to. And if there's anything else to consider, these two are time limited. These two are time limited. These two are time, or this one is time limited. This is time limited. This is time limited. Technically, both of these come in as a, as a dual festival. This one is not time limited, but it's very, very, very good. Very good. And these two are not time limited either, albeit she goes away on Friday, so maybe consider that. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm torn. I'm really torn. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I just can't answer the question because I'm thinking, like, I've got, like, what? 2,000, 2,100 free-to-play Iris, and that's not even enough to max out one banner. I don't know, guys. I, I don't have all the answers. I wish I did. Um, go play the lottery, get a million bucks, throw it in the game. That's that's the only way you're going to get all these units you want. <laughs> Good luck. My numbers are uh, 7, 12, 14, and uh, 365. So play those numbers. You'll win, guaranteed. Pilk out.